Welcome everybody. It will be the third session after the stream restart and we still have four days to go until my family comes back. With the two kids behind I cannot stream as much so four days to go. Let us jump directly into the action. Enjoy. We will play four tables on the stream again. I will probably add one or two tables beside just to get more volume in. Whenever I show more than four tables, it's uh, a bit too much for most of the of the viewers because the table becomes smaller and smaller and um, I guess that is not good. The ace dues called three bet can do both. We roll the one on this one. I sometimes use a RNG but not every time and especially if I stream I do not use the number you see on the table. Okay for example um, if I ask myself do, do I want a three bet here then you see the RNG right here. And sometimes if I want to make a decision, I, I tell myself, okay, this time I take the number from, from this table, for example, right? But I won't tell you that you cannot know exactly which, um, which frequencies I really want to use. But it's, it's only in my mind that it could be import important in some cases. Normally it shouldn't. It's just a side information. So far we played about 6,000 hands and we made 1.3k. That is wh where we stay, roundabout. I three bet here because uh, this might be a fish and he can open raise wider against the fish. This player is not full stacked, still has um, good stats, not sure what that means. Ace four suited against him. Um. Seems very tight to fold that, but we did. We could start uh, bluffing here against his uh, pocket sevens and so on. This is actually a good river card to bluff. Now he starts betting. Really? Dude. Ah, later in the session we do so much good decisions. It feels like whenever we start the day, there's something, something I dislike. Maybe I'm not on point directly because we have to set up the stream. I have to see if the stream is running. I have, you know, uh, to post on Discord that the stream went online. I have to look to the chat. Anyone here? And it feels like the first decisions of the day are very suboptimal. It seems like nobody is here. Um. I 
I don't think he will 3-bet and if we get his hand equity to fold it would be nice. We can just call the flop but our hand is uh, vulnerable and it's strange how to get it through and now he bets that river. Okay so he has a 10 or a bluff I would say. Ten or a bluff. Six five ace three. All is still possible. I really want to call that. Ay ay ay. Pot size on the river, because the jack would not bet pot size, right? The problem is if you play against uh, anyone who who calls from the small blind where most players play a uh, 3 bet or fold strategy and then he donks on the flop it feels like he is not the best regular and what happens if he bets a uh, 4 like that right and we call with the dues and he owns us but in terms of combo selection, I think it would be a, a nice call with the king deuce, leaving ace 5, ace 3 open. Mm. Oh, nice hit right here. think this uh, squeeze is too small. We should make it bigger. Still working. Bad river card. He does not bet the flop. It's not a set of fours. Um, yeah, let's see. Whoopsie. I think that hand plays uh, good as a 3-bet against him. He isolated this player. Interesting stuff right here. Uh, eight seven arrived. Other than that, do you want to shove here or just call? He can have pocket nines. Playing like this, seven six. Huh? Would he ever bet the turn? Seven six kind of stuff. Sevens, tens, yeah. Ah, <sighs> if he does a lot of check raises on that board, um, our our C bet gets punished, but if he does not, then it will be fine to C bet a lot. Hey, Pink Jamie. Hey, Bodo. Nice to see you online again. What tables do you play beside? Other, some other Zoom tables, maybe. 
Yes, uh, I will play some No Limit 50 or No Limit 200 beside. Not yet, as you can see, we struggle at the beginning. We need we need the mood first, the, the rhythm, and then I can add tables. So far it was like, ah, ah, let us arrive first, right? Frank Pimp, Inu Teradlu. Welcome, welcome, guys. Um, he has sixteen, twelve so far. I have no clue how many hands. So I will not uh do a bluff for a bit here. And here it goes, check, 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 check. We can go for value on the river. Thank you very much for the follow. Whoever that was. It's Saya, 99999. Thank you. So here he bets the turn. Ooh, that is one third. Would he ever bet tens for a free showdown or so? I mean, if he ever has tens, J king ten of suit. If he ever has tens or jacks betting the turn for a free showdown, then um, I have to call my hand if he never has that. Then it feels like, oh, oh, might be some uh, flushes around, some King X even, like uh, King 10 was something I cannot read, obviously. <clears throat> Did he really call that against the 3-bet? That's strange. Was my 3-bet too small anyhow? I don't think so. Let's recheck it. Oh, I made I made a squeeze and he called. Oh, I see. Okay, um calls Kington O versus Super Sai, hey Bodo, miss you a lot. Welcome, I only call this. He was passive before with the King 10 offsuit. So, not sure what a 3 bet means in uh, his case. On that board, we could be dead already. So, if he hit an ace and he bets turn and river, I think uh, it's a fold. I'm not sure how many ace x hands he has here. Keep it easy. Larry, hey Bodo, so happy to see you again. How old is your daughter now? 
daughter is five years old and our boy is six months old. I have one week to stream and then uh, the kids are back and if they come back obviously I can stream less with the background noise small boy sometimes need needs me and daughter goes into kindergarten until 3 p.m. <clears throat> Cleonidas hey Against a half pot size bet, okay. Um, with the pocket fives and the five of club, I think it would be a bit too tight to fold directly. But I guess most players will second barrel after they take half pot size on the floporino. And if he second barrels with like 10 9, you know, um, queen 10 or so, it feels like, yeah. We never get it through. It might be very tight in some spots. Small blind versus big blind, but um, we have no potential in our hand. So the only the only reason to continue is if you really think he he bluffs some stuff through. Ten nine or flush draws are the most obvious hands. But what what is with queen ten or just two over cards, right? And if he never has that, I think. He will find enough value hands and uh, does not have enough bluffs really or and or the bluffs have enough hand equity and or if he fires the river again then we have you know an even harder call that's why i decided to let it go on the turn already naibi hey hey uh, how do we know for sure we are beating a particular stake I mean, is it important to beat uh, a limit? Because a limit can be very different from one poker side to another poker side or so, right? I would I would say just follow your bankroll management and that's it. So if he does not bet uh, the turn, I think he does not have a king. Hopefully he folds a six now. Or ace high. So as long as you follow the bankroll management, it should be fine, right? You can run a uh, aggressive bankroll management. Don't worry about that. So why should you waste your time on no limit two until you win 100 stacks or so? No, 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 no. As soon as you have 20 stacks for the higher limit, do a shot. If it works out, you saved some time, which is very important. And if it does not work out for three, four, five stacks, maybe go di directly down again. It's also good for your um, for your mind because if you start with a downswing on a higher limit, this is some sometimes pro problematic. What the fuck was it? Die Haare hin? Uh. Das Licht, Junge, das Licht. The light might be different today. And when do you when do you really beat a limit? I mean if you made like 40 stacks on a limit it's hard to lose the 40 stacks again. I think he was not full stacked so he will not check raise as often hopefully. 
and then it should be fine to see bed a bit more. Ah, there's the check raise. But I guess he was not full stacked. 2.8, uh, maybe it was close. Low place ginking under the gun. <laughs> Junpo, did you ever play party poker for the leaderboard? Oh, not recently. I I don't know if I played party poker leaderboards like uh, one or two years ago. I did back in the days, but that is, you know, this is five, seven years ago. I only played the leaderboards on natural eight. I guess exactly one year ago, I played a lot of leaderboards on uh, Natural 8, but not on Party Poker. Nice hand to do a bluff four bet with. Let's go. And there you could some nice money with nine tabling fast forward. Uh, Ah, okay. <clears throat> Winning from from the leaderboard is one thing, but it it depends how soft or tough the the player pool is as well, right? And I heard on Party Poker it was suboptimal on No Limit two hundred. Wow, what is that? This guy from United Kingdom. Now he bets pot on the turn. But he was, what is that? Pocket threes, eights, I do not block. What is that? Pot? Do we have any stats from him? What is that? 3621 player, huh? Potting. Uh no stats, no hands, just 34 hands. But he I think there was a race caller he overcalled. It can be pocket eight eights or so. I wanna see the result, whatever. <sighs> Let's see what the hand was. It was an open race, a caller. He calls as well with the king, queen of suit. And I made it 18! 18! In position. He called it. Ooh, look at that. Choo! Oh, now it's one moment the sound is fucked up. Ah, I realized it already. There's something wrong with the notification sounds. Where is that shit coming from? Ok, 
can you hear it it's like a loop from the notification i guess we got a subscriber or so thank you for that by the way but The sound from the one file is looping, playing over and over again. How can I disable that? One second, we have to fix that because it plays the sound over and over again. Ah! I have an idea. One second. Sorry, box. Test follow. Because now, if I play that test for the follower, why is that doubled? Now it's fixed, at least. Thank you very much for your follow, Razenut. Thank you. Okay, let's go back into the game. And we got one more follower and now the notification is not working. What the heck is wrong? Lenny, thank you very much for your subscription. 16 month. <clears throat> One DCS, Bodo, with your experience, what kind of win rate is realistic possible on the long term on these low mid stakes Zoom? Um, <clears throat> what win rate is possible? I mean, I know one player, if he would play No Limit 100, something like eight big blinds would be possible, clearly. But it depends. If you do time selection or if you always just play, because sometimes the pool is softer, sometimes the pool is tougher, right? If you select whenever the pool is good, then your win rate will increase a bit. If you play just one table, your in win rate will increase a bit, right? So I'm not a fan to think in uh, big blind per 100 only. For me, it's always the whole thing. So for example, if if you play eight tabling, zoom 100 and zoom 50, then your win rate will be lower, but you play double the volume or nearly double the volume, right? Hmm, not sure about this one. I guess he will call a lot of tens if he has something like that. So after he checking the flop, it's a weak ace or the king. Expected. Yes, that was was a bad bet. 
and now because the board is paired, what what can we do? So overall, I recommend to aim for a three big blind win rate on most limits, right? Three big blinds roundabout. Also, if you if you play with rake back. If you play with rake back, um, that that counts into your hourly as well, right? Then it's not only about the win rate big blind per 100, which you calculate after the rake, but before the rake back. All right, let's see what happened there. We lost a huge hand, I guess. Okay, so we made a three bet against uh, the button open. He calls. I bet the flop, by the way, he has 10s, right? I bet the flop, he calls, turn, we made the straight and we have the queen and diamond. I bet, he called, And River, he has the full house. I guess there's nothing we can do, right? So this was mainly a two-outer for the good action. For the good action for us on the turn, for him on the river. Hmm. I will sit out because I, uh, I'm late in the chat. Let me answer some questions there. Okay, Saya. Hello, Bodo. How are you? I am roundabout fine. My uh, voice is a bit scratchy, but overall it's fine. Thank you for asking. Nice to see you. How is lo doing in life? We got our second baby. Everything fine. So he second barrels here. Uh, flush draws are possible. We unblock the flush draws at least. We still beat ace queen ace jack type of stuff. And we win against king queen suited. Nice. Do you still play poker only sometimes? I only play sometimes. Our baby is six months old. I haven't played too much for myself. That's why I'm struggling a bit in a thought process directly on the table. I still have learned a lot with solvers and do a lot of uh, solver work for high stakes players because I have 1000 gigabyte RAM and uh, a lot of systems. So if you need something for a Pio solver, GTO plus or Monka solver, I can handle that. Obviously it's not for free because I have to cover power cost equipment and so, but I guess I do it for reasonable prices. So I did uh, solver work and my my knowledge 
should be okay but it's it's different what you know and what you bring to the table and sometimes especially on the stream where you handle chat and so on uh the performance struggles and there's it's absolutely fine because I know it before and and I know how to handle it sometimes better and sometimes it's not on point but that's why we play a normal limit where it does not hurt me too much maybe you had a break and now uh full grind no they, we have the stream online for just one week because my my kids are not here for one week leonidas hold them too uh it's hold the manager too yes i just set up uh, a very small hut nothing special just to recognize the real fishes the real nits and the loosey-goosey guys right so it's not a deep hut just just very simple to have something on the table because if that is allowed here why not how to make bedding buttons 30 40 50 75 and so on so you speak about this line it's uh, created with stars caption the program is called stars caption also as you can see on the top i have something like call odds in percent and the bluff percentage that is not for me that is mainly for the stream okay that you can see how often something has to work so for example here the seabed for that sizing has to work in 22 percent and this one is a rng i guess every jack every ace deuce uh will fold on the turn anyway so i go for a bigger sizing uh, and hope that he has 9-8 or, or a 2 pair. Normally that is a small sizing whenever the flush comes on the turn. So we, we attack something like Jack-10, Ace-10, 9-8, right? The weak, weak Ace-X will fold anyway. If I think uh, I can provoke him with a very small sizing, I could take the small sizing, but I'm not sure if if they would really uh, do some some crazy action just because of the small sizing in those spots where under the gun against uh, big blind. It might be different in something like small blind against big blind or those those wide ranges spots. Leonidas, uh, I guess it's done with a star's caption. Can you show from which option they are made? Okay, let's see, let's see. Without next hand. So it's uh, this one. So you create a new panel. One is called bluff equity. Other thing is called uh, call odds in percentage. And whenever I do it visible, you see it. I call odds. Whenever I remove visible, then it will be away. Sorry, I have to select this one, obviously. Same for the RNG. And for the numbers. You mainly use 33 that is what you see on the tables you can also write a small bet or so and then you have the bet formula here so that is x 0 0.33 for example and so i create those buttons for myself mostly i use uh 33 percent or 30 percent is inside directly for my seabedding stuff if i want to see that small 40 percent is for the flop check raises 40 50 75 i am depends on the board depends on the player depends on his sizing and um 135 is something like uh, my turn and river 
overbet mostly taken as a second or third barrel but also there i ju adjust given the board given the spot given what i expect from my opponent i often check here in that case i bet to protect my hand if they have sevens and eights i lose anyway but uh, if i get something like queen jack to fold that would be cool now we have an easy check call on the turn and let's see what he has the ace three as well Yunpo, uh, when you are ahead in your thought process against most of the regulars, it's a good indication. Okay. Uh, my poker experience so far, I made I made 2k at no limit 50. I moved up to no limit 100. It initially won like 1k and then I lost 4k on no limit 100. Right, that's brutal. Yes, but I would see. You made 2k on no limit 50. You won 1k on no limit 100. That's 3k total. If you say uh, you lost 4k on no limit 100, where are the 4k coming from if you only made 3k on the limits before, right? So I would also recommend to go down in the limits directly if you lose like, you know, 15 stacks, 10 to 15 stacks, because otherwise your mind cannot handle that. I, I believe most players will not uh, do smart decisions anymore. Larry, exclamation mark, hard does not work at the moment. I did not set up those, uh, those things yet. I created the HUD, it's it's just very simple. It's a uh, VP preflop raise and then just something for for the steals. Nothing really special. Segefred, uh, I'm a no limit two fast forward winning player, but too scared to move up. One over 50 buy-ins in last two months. I highly recommend you to move up, otherwise you will waste your time on the low limits because you should not lose uh your target right your target is to make money you can live from no limit two winning player means you know you make a few cents per hour that will not change your life if you enjoy poker so much and you just want to be entertained okay it's a different story but normally if you wanna you wanna make uh like 12 dollars per hour you have to to try to get the $12 per hour as fast as possible. Sure, always with bankroll management, but it's absolutely fine to move up, right? And if you lose four or five stacks on the higher limit, you can go down again. But if it works out there, you saved some time. And what is more important in our life than our time? In Pope, but we need to um, worker. Okay, classic zoom games. Random guys call random hands, pre flop, and hit nuts. Uh, what situation do you mean? The tens maybe against my straight where he made the full house. I did bet very, very small on the flop, so calling the tens on the ace jack board was very loose by him. But still, you know, round about reasonable, maybe. I would not do that. But at least I see where the decision came from. He did not have uh, the, he did not have the backdoor flush draw, so it maybe he should fold his combination. But it is how it is. I just, uh, uh, <laughs> Lenny, I destroyed everything with the sub. Yeah, that is correct. The notification looped and we did not get the sound away when you are winning a lot and crushing you will think you are uh, yeah. Evo Evo you have you have a subscriber badge did you just subscribe thank you thank you a lot or did you subscribe in uh, the last stream sometimes I miss it sorry about that guys but thank you anyway. For sure, you underestimate variants.
10k just to play No Limit 100? I believe it's way too much. You don't need 10k to play No Limit 100 because if you if you lose two thousand dollars, you will move down anyways, right? So why do you need 10k for No Limit 100? Do you really invest 8k, 80 stacks on No Limit 100, and you on and you think, oh, now it will it will work? No, it will not work because after losing 15 stacks. <sighs> You need a new mindset, you need confidence, you have to go on the lower limit, get confidence again. You need a feeling how how to win, right? And then you come back, reset your mindset and go. Professor Grind, Bodo, that hair barely recognize you, really? Is there anything with the light? Does it look shorter than yesterday? One hundred stacks bankroll management is perfect for me. Ah, uh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> that is a bit too safe. Yang Yang, nice to see you after a long time. It's the third stream already. Unfortunately, I was not able to upload the first stream where we made one point three k. It was a four hour session. Yesterday, I guess we played about break even ish, but I was not able to upload the first session on YouTube because um, I saved it with the music included, and even that was no copyright music. They. YouTube gave me a warning, and I had to take it off. So I guess you can still watch it in uh, Twitch. If you see the Twitch history, the what? Congrats to your baby. Thank you, Cornell. Hey, hey. So uh, doing a check race here where he has the aces, the kings, the ace kings. It could still work because we have queen jacks type of stuff, but he has it as well. I go just for the call. Checks it and let's see what he had. Ace deuce, second barrel, okay. So he protects against two flush draws against uh, a lot of a lot of drawy hands like our hand, right? So he did it fine to bet the turn and uh, has a free showdown. What would he do against the turn check raise? Where the king does not change much for for our strengths of the hand. We cannot we cannot start check raising king 10 on the turn. That's not possible, right? So if we check raise the turn, we, we are saying we have exactly queen jack and nothing than else than that. Queen jack, boom. And we know we have some jack nine suited uh, in, in blue inside, which is a double gut shot and the flush draw or so. Inu Teradlu, if you have 1000 gigabyte of RAM, would you be interested in mining some Bitcoin? Uh, as far as I know, the power cost should be low mining some Bitcoin and I I doubt RAM is that important. You need uh, some good graphic cards and that is doing all the work, no? And unfortunately the power cost in Germany, Austria is very expensive. If you Google for that, I think Germany has the highest power cost in the whole world. It's it's nearly or it, maybe it is already 40 cent per per kilowatt hour. New subscriber get the bow. Thank you mate. Thank you. And we do not have the buck. Before we had a buck as anyone subscribed. The sound was looping. Not anymore. Good stuff. 
think he will do some uh, check races against smaller sizes. So let's go. We do not have uh, a diamond. So if he has queen 10 offsuit with a queen of diamond or so, I guess he will do a check race. No, not this time. He can have ace high. Sure, he can have some king high hands as well. I still want to go for value. Yang Yang, is there a possibility to watch your old movies from YouTube? Not really. I had uh, some strikes on YouTube and uh, I have family stuff on that YouTube channel as well. That's why I had to respect the strikes and take everything down. They are still available but private and... Maybe I can download it and upload it for you anywhere else, but those movies are old and they do not represent my actual knowledge. They do not represent what we all know about Solvers right now because the last live stream was, you know, 18 months ago, or maybe you speak about the live streams like four years ago and that is not up to date. I, I cannot recommend a lot from those plays anymore. And I remember that as we started to stream, I had a very good win rate for about 150,000 hands. I guess we had like seven big blinds. But after the 150,000 hands, I got roundabout burned out. It was just too much, too many tables, chat beside, streaming a lot of hours. And after those 150,000 hands, I think uh, we just lost focus. We played very suboptimal. I cannot recommend to watch the old movies. Junpo, so you offer your processing power for custom solves or do you also sell subsets with uh, solid ranges and sizings? Yes, I, I can mainly sell you subsets. which are solved already with roundabout okay ranges. Because if it comes to big blind three bet against small blind, a lot of players think, oh no, I three bet different, that's why I need different solves. But you missed the point. You wanna learn concepts and it's not about that one combination inside or not inside a range. Sure. Exactly big blind. Exactly big blind against small blind. It can vary a lot. But I often have solved it with a GTO ranges. And if you have not taken those so far, maybe you should change it anyway, right? And in something like under the gun open against big blind defense. It does not matter if you if you raise 18.5% under the gun or 17.2%, everything will still look the same, right? You have still aces, kings, queens inside, ace, king inside. The big blind defend range looks always round about the same. Sure, some big blinds make mistakes. They do not defend enough against two big blinds and they if it, they defend too much against three big blinds or so but that's you know we we always have missed information overall yes i do sell subsets with solid ranges and sizes if you have if you want to have something individual for you first you can build it your own and i solve it that is possible as well, or I build it for you and then. But if I have to build it for you, obviously it's a bit more expensive because then I have to use my time. Depending if I have to clean up uh, all the stuff behind as well. Because if you use crazy sizes, sometimes, sometimes it can come up. The river has, let's say the river has 80% uh, left. And you have a 75% and a 33% sizing. Do you, do you want to see 33%, 75% and 80% all in? No. You just want to have like an 80% all in on the river. Right? And then you have to cut down everything and clean, clean the whole tree up. 
I can do that, but it costs a bit. Furious, quiet. Um, when did you come back to poker? I'm still into poker. I just have no focus to play myself. At least not that often, given two two babies in the background. What have you been doing the whole time? Yeah. I'm over 40 years old, so if you have a family, right? With kids, then there's always much to do. Get the bow. Thank you very much for your subscription. Thank you, mate. Buru, how are you? Years ago, yes. Uh, oh, that is interesting. What can we do now? Hopefully, he has ace nine or so. Uh, Glavier. Hey, hey. Razor node graph. Oh, let me see if we get the older manager graph inside. So we do a refresh. And we have to go here and here. Ooh. He has ace king. Would he call ace king against the check race on the flop? Uh, king jack possible. King jack is possible. I think uh, king ten possible. King queen is not possible because he would bet it on the turn. Ah. Ah, why did I bet small? That is like uh provoking him. Uh What kind of bluffs does he need? Like like a flush draw with ace 5 suited. Something like ace 9 turning into a bluff. Nah. Chitty, your voice is not synced to the camera or I'm the only one who got this. Test, test. It's possible. One guy mentioned that um, yesterday, but then I had a look to the recorded movie and there it was fine. Let me see if I can open it on my phone. And if I catch something. So for me, Mr. Shitty, it looks roundabout okay. I mean, it it's off a few milliseconds, but not totally off. Chip Hunter, boat is still alive. Yes, I am. If you want to see me more often, you have to go to the Spielplatz. the playing chord with the kates. All right, back to the four tables. 
Now I saw everything in in the chat. Sometimes I'm very late in the chat. Depends if I'm focused on the tables or maybe I answer one question very, very long and then I cannot keep up. King Tote, 91, where can I buy his ranges then? What kind of ranges do you mean? Preflop ranges? How do you like the preflop ranges? Matza, hey, hey. Ah, the queens against such a fish. Let me see how many hands we have. We have only 17 hands. So this is uh, not an information about this player. So we have to fold whatever he has. And it was also not good to block two queens because then it's like less likely he has queen jack, queen 10 suited kind of stuff. Professor Grind, last time I saw you uh, just had your first kiddo like five years ago. Oh. You're the subscriber. And now it's... Ah. Sorry about the distraction, guys. Whenever anyone subscribes, the sound is looping, and I do not know why. I will fix it. At least I know how to fix. Oh, now it's fixed because one guy, <laughs> one guy um, just followed and that solves our problem. Okay, Ace Jack here, offsuit. We can call, we can do a four bet, both is fine. Saver, what the fuck is going on? Long time no see, how is it going? You still play poker a bit? I remember you stopped playing a long time ago. I will open raise this. This guy has 18, 16. That seems very tight so far. And it worked out. Yippee! It seems like the tables are tougher than on weekend sure we have a few fishes inside but see every second player is open raising 2.2x it feels like roundabout regulars hmm.
from Japan, Pocket 8. Uh, without reads, it's it's so hard to say. If he has enough bluff four bets, then we can call and just play post flop. If if some players are a bit too tight in terms of four betting, then uh, pocket eights becomes a relatively quickly fold. I guess, and that's why I just let it go directly. Oh, <laughs> he bluffed me with, with the nut low. At least he tried. Chidi, just for you, I... Ooh. Oh no! Direct jam from China Tiger. Nothing we can do with the King Queen suited. Uh, he can go for value with a weakish queen here. Absolutely fine. I I have no clue how the action was. If I check behind the flop for any reason, then uh, I cannot fold on that river against that sizing. That's fine. Just remember if he takes a smaller sizing, you don't have to win every time. Ooh, what is that? Uh, I mean, I will check here and let him bet his queen. And if he does not have a queen, he does not call anyway. And if he bets super large, then I cannot raise because the board is paired. So let's see what he had. What? He had queen, queens with the queen of clubs and did not bet the river. Nine, eight, nine, that, that is a straight mate. That is a straight and you blocked the flush. How can you not, not bet that? Unbelievable. How much? 50 cent. Let's go. Oh, one more. 100, no, 1000 points. How much is that? That's all. Hmm. Hmm. King Tote preflop ranges. So overall, if you want to have something for completely for free, then something like um, Poker Snowy offers uh, some preflop ranges in the web browser. Poker Snowy. Those are roundabout okay. Other than that, I sell preflop ranges created with Monka Solver. 
I can sell finished ones or I can create individual ones if you want to have it for your rake structure or for your sizing scheme or so. I guess the normal preflop ranges they are available everywhere. Everybody knows from under the gun we open raise about 16 to 19 percent right and small changes here and there it does not really matter. And whenever you see me open raising pocket deuces from under the gun or a queen 10 offsuit from under the gun, then it's because, oh, I spotted something on the table. Maybe the players are too tight and that's why or so. I try to be flexible whenever possible. Like the 10-9 here is a fold from the cutoff, but if, you know, the big blind is super nitty, you can start stealing with, with that as well. So I wouldn't play fixed like the preflop ranges and always try to, to keep your eyes open what is going on on the tables. <clears throat> Does poker winnings only come from fish? Um... For a lot of players, sure. I have a friend who showed me his st statistics against uh, ta on on tables without any fish because you can filter that and hold the manager in hand to note and so on. And he has a nice win rate even without fish. So that depends a bit. Uh, now he bets the river. It could be ace high. Uh, having me beat other than that I hope that he has an underpair right so ace high possible I hope he has an underpair no it's the nine the dude Bodo wie läuft's warst du beim Friseur nein Ich schneide mir die Haare doch selber, Mensch. Käufer Bodo. Falls du also mal einen Schnitt brauchst, let me know. Ja, that might be uh, to lose against some opponents, but at least it's cutoff versus button and not um, early position versus button or so. Yeah. Happens. <laughs> I'm not happy check calling, check calling here. Totally missed it. So Inno Terra uh winnings come from fish 
can't we be a little better than regulars and get their money uh you can win against regulars as well but obviously there's the rake so you need to beat the rake as well and rake depending on the limit is high right so in order to make some money against regulars you need to beat them with six seven eight big blinds per 100 at least That's why every information can be important. If you spot an opponent who second barrels 33% as a sizing and that is always weak and whenever he makes an overbet that is strong, you need to remember that in the future, right? Obviously on the higher limits, most players are balanced. They know, okay, I take the draws and uh, my made hands as overbets or blah, blah, blah. But on the lower limits, you will find players, they only play the overbet whenever they have it. And, and you can do some nice adjustments against them. I will do a check race against this player. He's not full stacked, so hopefully he has a 10. What? Well, now it's a check race, okay. I directly fold it. The problem is, if the full stacker, who might be a regular, is just calling preflop it's often a pocket pair playing for set mining reason if he plays a check race here i think it's not sevens often enough and then how can i continue with the kings right and if he overplays the the hand like i'm i'm worried to get it in directly against one or two players Easy money with the quads, yes. Thank you for the follow. Easy money with the quads. He made a very small three bet with the kings. It came a low board. I checked behind, hit my set on the turn. And I believe what happened exactly. I bet the turn, he calls, river he dongs, I shove, he calls. If you hit that well, obviously it's easy. You should not have queens too often, so I go for another small bet. Maybe he calls like uh, tens and eights one more time. Ooh, what the heck is going on? So many followers. Thank you.
Nah. Not our Flopperino. Um. We went down a little bit, but still okay. Oh. Uh oh oh. Uh oh oh. Why is that an ace and a four? Uh oh oh. I guess we get we get a uh, snatch called from the jack directly. Uh oh oh. No, not this time. Do we have any new viewers here? What guy what kind of limit do you play guys? And on which poker site? Casino Flamingo, thank you very much for your follow. Thank you. And Daniel, thank you, mate. Against the min open race, playing that deep, I think we can call for set mining reason. I rarely do it, but we have a pinkish box here, so hopefully he is uh, squeezing less. Thank you for the follow. Also good uh, here is if he calls, we can over call as well. Now, uh, a lot of players might think, yeah, that is a good opportunity to call a, for set mining reason because we play deep. But is it guaranteed that he will lose everything with aces, kings, queen or on a uh, ace four board if he has ace, king, ace, queen? No, it's not guaranteed. And that's why. Sure. I'll let go. Also, my hand is a bit phase up because... Most of the time, regulars call their smallish middling uh, pocket pairs in such spots, right? Now, now we can call and hopefully we hit our set. We are we have a limper here. We will follow the hand because I want to see if he is a real fish, if he limps. Maybe we, we see a result. Interesting here. Uh, anyhow, I want to raise now because my problem is if I just call and river is a drag, a queen, a paired 10 or so, then it feels like we don't get anything anymore, right?
So I guess whenever he has aces or ace king, he would not fold. And I guess it's better to shove against those hands. To, to directly get the money. And the problem is, if he has ace queen, ace jack, just a gut shot, it's not guaranteed he will fire another bullet on the river. So if I call the turn and he does not mm, barrel through on the river often enough, then yo, what? Then he hits the river in 8% because he has a gut shot. And then we lose everything. And in the other 92% where he does not hit the river, his gut shot, he might not bluff anyway, right? But that is uh, also a missed information. We do not know about that. There was uh, a flush draw possible as well. So maybe our opponent has a flush draw, maybe flush draw and gut shot. A small turn raise. Yeah. Chidi was saying my microphone is not synchronized with my lips. Uh, the East 5 suited, we played the East. Hopefully he has some limb calls, no instant call by him. And now folding against a small seabed, do me the favor, please. Oh, but you do not have the jack. If you do not have the jack, you have to fold the turn. Fold, please. Begine, Discord. Da muss ich mal gucken, ob wir den Discord-Link gerade finden. Aha. Den Discord-Link. Server. Invite. Discord channel. Thank you, Rolks, for your follow. Thank you very much. It would be terrible if he makes a check jam here. Now, after him checking the flop and checking the turn, he should have ace king most of the time. Can we go for value? Can we go for value here? That would be super strange, right? Uh, 
from which country? From Russia. Ace King. He has Ace King every time. Ah. Uh, come on, we try it out, right? The stream is online to try stuff out. He calls and Max. A friend would say, ah, oh, Bodo, shove. If you want to try something out, then just shove. What is that? I missed the action. Did I make a seabed? Where's the second barrel? Why is the pot so small? I have no clue. And I, ha if I have no clue against the pot bed, I should fold. <laughs> we should fold. What the heck is that? A6 exactly? I have no clue what that hand was. Uh, E9, uh huh. By the way, this guy had pocket eights, so he four bet pocket eights uh, and then played it passive. Okay, fine. Okay, so what happened here? I open, he calls, flop. Oh, okay. I did not see bet. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Why didn't I see bet? Turn, he bets half pot. Okay. Half pot is fine. I called. River, he pots. Yeah. So I was asking what kind of limits you guys play. We have no limit 10 on uh, America's card room, no limit 2 on party poker. We have no limit 50 on GG poker. Inu Teradlu, are you, are you tracked to me? If not, write me a private message on Discord please. Escobar, you play No Limit, I became a teacher. Yeah, nice, nice. Ooh, old. There we go. That was uh, kind of a flip anyway. Because a lot of players would say, okay, you got it in with uh, aces versus ace king and you are your favorite and so on. I see that stuff a bit different because if I have the ace king suited, I would play the same way. So it's 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 like a setup. It's um, It goes one way and the next time it goes the other way, right? So here, this player is... He called the flop against my very small sizing and now he bets the turn. I want to go for some kind of protection, right? There's no much, much left if I call. If I call is uh, 110 in the pot, he has 41 left. So I want to protect against uh, the, the hearts. And if he has a better hand and river is a three and he shoves, I will call it anyway. So we get it in. Hopefully it's not pocket eights. Did you see that, guys? I would call it ambitious. It was ambitious.
Just trying to win enough every month to pay a bill or two. Ah, nice. Uh, I will call here. I think this player will join most likely. If I was a uh, under the gun open raiser, it would be a bit different. Because then he has some traps inside, but if I open raise from the cutoff, he has no traps. Does he like to stream snipe? I'm not sure if our delay is enough. He calls and he mucks, so that was not a stream snipe. Maybe it was an attempt. Siegfried, I play for fun and have a real job in home office. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! Set under set. King to the S. Uh, I think most people should play the way. No limit to one hundred is the goal. Yeah, no limit one hundred is is uh, a good target because you can make like thirty dollar per hour, right? So I define the targets for for my students or as inspiration for new players mostly like get an hourly as a target not the limit because if you play one tabling live poker no limit 100 it's hard uh, to make 30 dollars an hour right unless the tables are ultra 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 soft but even then you need like 100 big blinds per 100 hands and you have very high rake. So something like $30 per hour is a very nice target in uh, most European countries. If, if, you, if you live in Poland or so, it's probably a bit less. Romania, Ukraine, but in uh, like Germany, Netherlands, France, France, you probably need like, yeah, $30 per hour is, is very cool. Thank you for the follow, Colin Ko. Thank you. Regine, thank you for the Discord link. No worries and welcome. Casino Flamingo is no limit 200 Grasha. I guess I saw it uh, two days ago or so. Yes, I I do not watch a lot of uh, Twitch streams because most of the free content is not recommended and I would say is a waste of time to watch. But as I saw it two days ago, it takes one or two spots and you directly realize if uh, a player has learned some GTO if a player has a sense how the game works, I believe it was a three bet. Uh, a small small board came up and you did not fire your thirty three percent C bet. It was uh, a bigger sizing because you said, um, "Let's go for two th two streets, like betting a pot on the flop and get it in on the turn or something like that." And you directly realize, okay, he has a clue what he d does, and uh, yeah. With such a knowledge, it will work out for sure. So, no limit 200 Russian cash crusher. I won a lot of leaderboards about one year ago on Russian cash. Sometimes I won on no limit 200 and won a no limit 100 at the same time. That was cool. But now with two kids, it's not that easy no anymore. Maybe, maybe I will go uh, and, and try such stuff on the weekend. I'm actually not sure when, when the kids come home. 
So here, um, a jack on the river makes it less likely our opponent has ace jack. Uh, I do not think he bets uh, king jack or queen jack on the turn. We lose against fours. Jack 10 suited is only one hand combination. We do not lose against ace 10 because it's counterfeited. He could go for a smaller sizing with uh, ace, ace queen if he has that sometimes. We win against a lot of flush draws. I guess, yeah, what kind of jack could that be? It's exactly ace jack and, you know, there are not that many left. And then he could be greedier. So let, let's call it one time against half pot. It's exactly ace jack. Yeah. I mean. I I have no clue how many other bluffs he has. Right. Does he have a lot of suited connectors. As uh, missed flush draws. <laughs> so here. Uh, flop check check. Turn check call. He could have any any random hand it's it's small blind against big blind maybe he just tries it on the turn and gives it up on the river could be like let's say queen 10 offsuit even with flush draw or without flush draw both possible and now he fires the river jack 10 arrived queen 10 still possible I guess with the king of, of diamonds, I would call without, I'll leave it one time, leave one time. I only wear Lacoste. I play $50, $100 Badugi in recent underground club, uh, secret, secret underground clubs. Okay. Okay. I see. I see. Playing in underground games looks always softish and so much value. But we should not underestimate the risk of ruin if those are gangsters and you get robbed or they do not pay you off or something like that. So um, care, just care. As I was in Las Vegas. I was there 10 times, but one time I got the offer to play with a billionaire and I asked, hey, okay, it's a, it's a private game with a billionaire. That sounds cool. But what is the name of the billionaire? And I got a name and I did not find him on Google. So that is a clear sign for me. If, if I cannot find a billionaire's name on Google, I should probably skip that game, right? I did not go there. One guy told me another famous player went there and won 200k. It was super soft. I'm not sure if if that story was real. I never asked the other famous player. Maybe I should. So we need a four or the flush. He made a check raise on the Floberino. He can had, have a set of three, set of seven. Sometimes he has a flush draw himself. I do not think he has any king check raising on the flop. At least we beat um, a flush draws now. So if he has ace jack suited, for example, for whatever reason, we would beat that. And if he bets the river, I guess there's nothing we can do, right? I mean, sometimes you get creative, but not now. Kunstfehler schreibt da mit dem Shitty rum, ha? Huh? Willst du Valorant oder CSGO, ist dann die Frage. Und 
on such a spot we can see some uh some small races from my opponent and there we go eno from belgium well done well done so if that is a total bluff race he invests 13 to win 20 in the pot that would be super cool if he if he adds bluff raises and he knows i see bet too much but I guess uh, a lot of players, you know, they have it too often. I'm not sure if he is one of those guys, but this time I let it go and have it. Komodo, hey, hey, thank you for the good luck. Yesterday, one guy said you are huge in crypto. Huh? Komodo, what do you say about that? Are you a billionaire? That's why you're retired from po poker, huh? You are here to stream snipe. Okay, so I have to play faster. You cannot see my hands. Chidi, your delay is more than six minutes. Um, no. I had three minutes until yesterday and today I made it two minutes only and I have no clue why the de delay is so huge. Is there an internal delay in Twitch which was not like two years ago? No, oh, we rolled a 98. 98, huh? Bluff for a bit one time. Nice flopperino. I would not expect him to do a lot of check raises. Hopefully, he does not check jam. No, check jam is not possible. I have the flush blocker. So I guess he has jacks queens quite often and a lot of, um, you know, other suited connected stuff. Although I, I think suited connectors are not um, squeezes preflop playing deep. He should just call them. Uh, he can have pocket nines preflop three bet. I'm I'm not sure. So uh, the queen is a good card for us because it makes it less likely he has queens. I would say. Um, so we check. We beat nines. We lose against jacks. We win against ten nine and so on. Should we go for value? Question mark. Can we go for a small value bet here? From Japan. How many hero calls do we see? Let's try it out. Oh. Um. What the heck is that? Uh. I mean, if he does not bet the river, and he should with the queen, we we only lose against the jacks. Those are six combos. We we should clearly go for value here. War chips poker bodo you are back yeah only for for a week if my kids are back oh, i have to stop kunstfehler karten abdecken mit einem bild um uh, ohne delay to streamen uh, pff, for me for me it doesn't matter if if i stream with whole cards and delay or 
without whole cards and then we have no delay it's it's up to you guys right for me it does not matter But then I cannot tell you, oh, I bluff here and, you know, it's hard to, to give some information then. Okay, here uh, we have a backdoor flush draw, so this should be a call, but he takes a bigger sizing. That is even bigger than 50%. Uh, let me go this time. I guess I made a preflop 3 bet, so he should have a bunch of folds here with uh, pocket 10s and so. He rarely has the king. That's a bit loose. Was the ten eight suited? Depending on the on the table, but some of the players are, I guess, a bit too tight in terms of three betting. And if my open race goes through more often, then it should be fine. That is a wonderful turn card. Ah, I see, I see, you have pocket nines, huh? Ah, crazy, crazy card. One oh fuck that but oh that is interesting because if he does not have pocket nines he has the seven he rarely has a seven now and he should never have a jack. I mean what kind of jack should he have on the turn? Like exactly jack nine for any reason? Jack raising the turn? No. Same hand. What about the same hand? He really has the nines. Good turn, card. Ah, thank you. Saying thank you, Vladimir. Giving good turn. Komodo, you are not on stars. I never saw you in stars. So I was not worried about that. So you like Bitcoin? 99% of crypto is a scam. Written with a dot. I will squeeze here. I'm not sure why this guy has a yellow box, but normally that is a is a whale one. So if he calls very light, then he will fold against my squeeze, or he calls and then we play at least in position. Eh. What chips? I was on your Discord a while back talking about the PSPC thing. What do you mean PSPC? I remember that one player had a ten thousand dollar buy-in one from a promotion or so. Was that you?
Ja, komisch, dass bei mir der Delay so hoch ist, obwohl ähm, gestern drei Minuten eingestellt waren und heute nur zwei Minuten. Yang Yang, Todes Reads. Which hand did you just see? Was it Ace 10 against Jax? Uh, I'm not sure if that works out. We had three or four hands against him and it feels like he could play back now uh, on that board. I think 10. I think he would um, four bet call 10s given, given the stuff we played before. So I'm not worried that I'm behind very often. Hopefully he does a random race on the flop and they can just chip it for protection reasons. No, not this time. No backseat banning allowed. Komodo, you want him uh, to get banned. Why? Does he flame in your channel? Have a nice e evening, uh, shitty. Hopefully you will stream more. As I said, I will stream until my family comes back. I will most likely not continue to stream after this week. I mean, maybe we find a few days here and there, maybe a 90 minute session, who knows? But it's, it's not expected that we uh, push some volume. Thank you for the follow, Shackles. Uh, Jewel. So what I have done here? Okay, one call. What are you doing, mister? From Canada, now betting half pot. Check raising the flop. Uh, I block King Jack. You should not have... You should not have East King and so on. You should not have King Queen suited, blah, blah, blah. I block the flush. You can easily have some of the deuce X hands, but I open raised uh, 2.75 from... Uh, from the button, so you should not have too many uh, deuce X and I block exactly the ace to suited So there's no deuce X left for you So uh, he could go for value with something like pocket eights still pocket eights possible other than that we do a Call and here's the total air ball cool I min bet the flop he called, I think against a very small bet, a Fiji player can ca call a lot. Uh, although I guess uh, something like sevens would instantly check behind the turn and now goes check check and he wins. Two pair, not going for value with two pair, okay. Interesting. 
at least my out to the open-ended straight draw was clean. David, hey, hey. We can have a look to hold the manager. We didn't a long time. So we refresh. 600 more hands added and we made something. I had no attention how much it was exactly, but I guess before it was 1.28 or so. Good luck, Bodo. Thank you. Ah, see, 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 I remember Mr. Warchips Poker. One guy got a huge promotion win and got it to a huge tournament. $25,000 tournament. I cannot remember anymore. Did you make it into the money? I guess no. Nice. We'll attack that board quite often. And I guess he will continue a bit. Uh, but he has a pinkish box, so it's possible that he overfolds. No. Hmm. Checking the flop, folding the turn. Unexpected. But pinkish players, if they are a bit on the nittier side, on the passive side, possible. What should we do here? Um, Yeah, let's go for value one more time. And if he jams with a combo draw or so, it should be in our favor. He should not have uh, threes and deuces too often, check calling the flop. He, If he has ace jack or queen jack, okay, it is how it is, right? But if we check the turn and he bets the river, not on that river, but on other rivers, then... Um, we lose something anyway. Now we have an easy check and hopefully we win against nines, which he called twice against smallish bets. Soul read. Okay, we need the direct royal flush on the top right. Can we, can we get the royal flush? That was the trick. Ah, nearly, nearly. Checks the flop, okay. Hmm. 
checking the flop. Let's play it this way. Let's see what he had. Hmm. Oh, look at that. He had the ace five. Okay, four betting pre flop, checking flop betting turn. <clears throat> he took a smaller turn bet. Okay, that's fine. So he tried to protect anyhow. Big Bucket, Bodo, hello, where's your family? Uh, the sister of my girlfriend becomes 40 and her daddy becomes 70. And for me it's pretty boring, I have to say. That's why I did not join. <laughs> Komodo, good job finding someone who is streaming less frequently than you. Yeah. Ah, uh, one of the rare spots I go for the trap. No. Okay. Exactly the king, he calls and Max. I guess now we had a few good minutes. Oh no! He had the ace, so I could go for bet, bet, bet against the limper. But how can I smell he has an ace if I have two aces and one is on the board? And we had another bigger pot. Where was that one? It was here. I went uh, bet, bet. It was a smaller bet on the turn because I was not afraid, you know, if he ha hits the 10 uh, of diamond and so on. Um, that's why I went for a bet, um, smaller bet on the turn and on the river, I think I made it half pot size-ish. Yeah. Always hard to say what sizing is the best. Oh, your $25,000 tournament was postponed. Okay, good uh, for me because it gives me time to study and play. Okay, okay, I see. Given we had some good minutes, I wanna have a look to hold the manager. <laughs> so we go from uh, 1.4k to oh, it f it felt like more. It felt like more. Your hand reading is 
Ridiculous. That is how my mom would spell it. Ridiculous. If he has a green box, might be a fishier player. If he uh, calls to white, he has to fold a lot against my squeeze. Even if he continues against my squeeze, it's uh, it's fine to play in position, right? And this time it worked out. We made 7.5 big blinds directly. Let's go! Pokematrix, may you please read me the next lottery numbers? Yes, yes, sure, I can read that from my hand. So, let's start. Uh, I take the number 52 because we have 52 cards in poker. Does that help you? <laughs> is, that, is that first number okay? Oder sprichst du von 6 aus 49? Fold! Let it go! Let it go! Ah, oh. uh, Burkilde, was, was spielst du da? Calling in the small blind now. You don't on the flop. Oh, oh, I get owned. If he has sevens, I get owned. If he has sevens, I get owned. No, poor Gilde. Nicht doch. Weg. Weg. Oh. We had him beat anyway. Because I can see that on his computer. <laughs> Whew. Um, from Belgium, huh? Normally that is a check raise against such a fishy player. He cannot always have the set. Now it's an easy river call because he has no ace after checking the turn. No six. Oh, uh, no five. Oh. Uh. No hero call with ace high or... Higashi from Japan. Nice. I will call here and not squeeze because we have a green box and uh, we play in position. Oh, we play against two opponents here. It would be nice hand to to check call against him and so, but against that action, I let it go. Because especially with the Queen of Hearts, uh, it, it would be nice to continue, but against that action, nothing we can do. I guess he will hero call with uh, two pair from Belarus. So if you have 10 9, call please. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Mm. Junpo also lay out design and effects better than uh, that of full-time streamers. Oh, it depends. I mean, pff, I, I'm a bit childish in that case. So if you see water effects and stuff, you know, it's because um, I like to play around with, with programs, like to experiment, experiment myself. And obviously a lot of stuff is just taken from other websites because I saw it and pff, for me that that is part of ent ent entertainment. If anyone says that is too childish or is this is it's too much distraction i can understand that but uh anyhow i love that shit i will do a over bet here the board is very dry and if he does not bet the flop he never has the king Um, Pyun Pyo, maybe you remember from the streams at the beginning, I had a lot of gifts going on, like uh, there was a cute panda bear waving his hands or a Scooby-Doo or Charlie dancing around. Do you know Charlie? Um, or SpongeBob was there. I will have a look if we find uh, the royal flush hand. I'm pretty sure you know that already. But that describes pretty much how I think entertainment has to look like. But it takes so much energy to to constantly be on point with that stuff and takes focus away from from the main game, right? So I have to care to to bring that stuff too much. Um, random movies. Final table review. Okay, so whoop. tabling
<laughs> that is uh, what I like personally. It gives me a smile. And obviously, if you want to learn poker, that is not the content you can follow every time because there's just too much information everywhere and woo woo woo, right? So, um, but overall, if you want to learn poker, you have to use Solver yourself. You have uh, to buy courses and then get prepared and, you know, write things down. Alrighty, um, Poker Matrix. Oh wait, the delay might be too long to get any advantage of the f future lottery reads. <laughs> I reduced the delay already and I have no clue where the edit delay is coming from because I have two minutes in the program and it seems like we have a uh, five minutes or so six minutes delay. Fit, Bodo, King, Queen, Suited, Small Blind versus Button, 4-Bet is not a fold GTO. Um, King, Queen, Suited in Small Blind versus the Button, 4-Bet is for sure not a fold in GTO. Okay, there are other spots where Queen, 10, Suited and stuff uh, is dominated too much, blah, blah, blah. But in uh, Small Blind versus Button... King Queen suited is is not a fold, I guess. So what about this one with the tens? Uh, yeah. Oopsie. I fell into sleep. With the tens under the gun open, we made a three bet. There was a cold caller. He makes a a four bet. Is then tens continue? Yes or no? I guess given the cold caller, some people might say, "Oh, he four bets more," but I think it should be actually less. Turbo One, hey, hey, welcome, welcome. What is that, Mr. China Tiger? Direct jam to my open rates. What could we call here? Is pocket eights a call? Pocket tens a call? Pocket tens for sure. Eights? No. Is ace queen a call? Ever? No. Big bucket, the raver bear cannot go to festivals at the moment, yeah? Covid changed the world, not only for the humans. Apasi, ich hab's nicht. I don't have it. He does not bet the flop, not bet the turn. He cannot have a straight, he cannot have the ten, he cannot not have the nine. If he bets the river, it's it's uh, the seven or nothing. Huh? Nothing. 
You have nothing. I got it. Dude, how long are you on your own? What do you mean? My kids are out of town for one week. Schuberg, thank you for the follow. Ah, <laughs> uh, squeeze against him is bad. Uh. I'm actually not sure about this one. I'm not sure, guys. They should not have a hand. And if he gets it in, it's still fine. <laughs> oh, that is a bigger bet already. Does not feel well with the King Jack. Feels like we always see a second barrel and then we have to fold it anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Dislike, dislike. There we go. Junpo, the third royal flush. Obviously, that was an old movie with all the gifts inside. A very old movie, but I still like that. Queens against Brind. Uh huh, uh huh. Played, played a bit slower. Ooh, uh ah. -huh. Do not tell him. Shh. Okay, one call. More bet. Shaf, ace king offsuit with a flash draw. Let's go! If he tanks that long, he never has nothing. So if he has ace king without a flash draw, he would fold already, right? If he has kings, he would continue already. So, mate, what is that? What is that? There we go, there we go! Bam! Yippee! Set against overpair. Such a gift. Imagine I would be in his spot. It would look like this. Oh. Okay, let. Let's do like the turn card is not there on the top left. When we do our trick again, our trick. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. That was wrong. Wrong button. But again, again, again. Jack! Oh, Jack. 
We win against uh, 16 combos, ace king, and a few ace queen if uh, he has that. Oh, a check, eh, mate? A check, huh? Okay, okay. What the fuck, Mr. Nuts? Checking the flop, calling the turn, and now on the river you do a race? I'm always beat here. I'm always beat. But I cannot fold my hand, right? I could fold an, a lot of other hands, but not this one. Jesus Christ. Wow, ba -ba -ba -bum. Let's, I, I'm just so hyped. I want to go for, for real world value on the bottom left, uh, bottom right. We go for everything, for everything against Ace King. He folds. Okay, all the hype for nothing. He folds. Oh, what happened here? That That's a, a mistake, I guess. <laughs> In the three bad pot. Doesn't matter. We are on fire. It always sounds so crazy if anyone says, oh, you are so childish. Yes, yes. If you are 20 years old and you think, no, I'm not childish. I'm, I'm a gangster. But now with 40 years, if you have kids and if anyone says, hey, you, are, you act like a child. Sure, why not? It, it sounds so lovely. Is that the card we, we wanted? Is that is that our our straight? Let me count. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have a straight. Let him fold. Oh, I miscounted, right? There was no six. <laughs> but he he still believed me. <laughs> oh, that looks like a better ace, but if I hit the ace on the river, I cannot fold. Ace track, ace queen. Man. Du ne Scheiße. Können wir, können wir das rückgängig machen? Lass mal wegwischen hier. Hm. Hat einer den Pinsel wieder nicht sauber gemacht. Okay, we get everything to fold on that turn card, unless he has the king. Fold a seven, fold a four, fold all your six, five, eight, six, or whatever you have. Just wait. I'm. It would be brutal if he shows the flush draw with the seven or so. Or... Yeah, it's the king. That's fine. That's fine. I call the pocket sixes here because he has a green box. He is a fish. So whenever we hit our set, hopefully we win huge against him. Now he insta called against that squeeze. You need a six. One, six. Please. One, six. Aramir. Hey, Bodo, it's been ages. Exactly. We thought about that. When was the last stream? Maybe 18 months ago or so. The dude, extension of lockdown till 2nd of May in Vienna? Really? No, there's my six! 
I guess our delay is too long. That makes me re really, really salty. Alexa, I said that makes me really salty. Salty. The dude, you said the lockdown in Vienna is extended, but what kind of lockdown? I just heard uh, in kindergarten we have a COVID case again, so that it's possible if if my kids come home, they cannot go to kindergarten. Turbo one grow sun run exactly the sun run. Let us see how hold the manager looks like. So we have exactly one point five k, and now we do the refresh. Whoop, boom. Junpo, China Tiger is crazy. I mean, if you call yourself China Tiger, what do you expect? Uh, back to straight draw, back to flush draw. Okay. I check here and call the river. Hopefully he has random floats. I could bet small on the turn against something like sevens and eights. Uh -oh. Did I did I say sevens? <laughs> Shove your nine eight suited. Let's go. Nah, not this time. Interesting, he bluff raises ace three suited there when you overbet turn and river on nine ten x five king. Yeah, exactly. For um, especially if you believe he would see bet queen jack, right? I mean, yes, some opponents they run uh, an RNG and then they have queen jack in their check behind range. But on ten nine boards, most players would say, "Okay, I just see bet all my my draws, right?" And if I imagine he see bets every time with the queen jack. And then raising the river, ah, that will lead into into some problems for him. This is interesting. I will do a raise on the turn for a free showdown, just to get the random uh, flushes to fold, just to get you know some droy stuff to fold. Bodo on fire. Destronov, Bodo for life. Welcome back. Haven't seen you for ages, my old friend. No, don't say I'm old, please. Interesting bet by him. Uh, such an ugly board. Can we do raise bet all in or so? I guess we cannot, but for that price, I, I dislike to fall directly. We try to hit a jack, please not in green. 
Ah, uh, I was too late again. That that's because of the delay. Um I'm greedy. If he has the flush, he has the flush. Fuck that river card. Queen 10. Uh, Jack 10, okay. So we had a few outs on the flop. We hit the turn. We raise, get some money in. All good, all good. Bad. Go for value with your pocket eights with the flush. There we go. No, nope, it was a bluff. <laughs> choo choo. Ah, uh, the pocket threes. It's such a small three bet. I cannot fold against that small three bet. And he folds. Even he closes the action. That's strange. Tony Pavlich. Anyhow, I know this name. Who's Tony Pavlich? Oh. Sometimes I would do uh, small races, maybe. Um, but especially with that many backdoors, as you can see now, we get a free card and we have the backdoor, you know, flush draw at least. Fine. Another thing is, if he has something like Jax, do we get him off the hand? Because we could represent like Ace King and Ace Queen type of stuff. Now he always has the overcard to the flop, right? It's it's never the ace unless it's ace five suited. What hand did I exactly predict? Huh? Which one? He checked raised the flop and on the turn he check called. I guess I give up. Uh, maybe he hit it the uh, jack on the turn. If he has seven or the six, then yo, well played, well played. There's the six, nice. Should I bluff here just in case he has a ace high without the flush? Okay, pocket deuce is here. Can we call if there's a fish behind? I cannot spot a fish, so we fold. Um, I guess against the small sizing, he would check raise the sets on the flop directly. 10-9 possible. I still want to go for value. I do not have the ace in diamond, which means sometimes he has a flush draw. And if he check jams that because it has, you know, a combo draw, it would be nice. He can have jacks though. Uh... Feels a bit close, but still. The timing looked so strong anyhow. Uh, let me think about that. Felix, huh? 2016 player from Sweden. Uh... 
Uh, um, some players get in the ace high flush draw directly. I not check race turn ten nine arrived. King ten suited or so. Uh, I wanted to bet to call it off, but it feels like a punt if we call now. We still have some outs, right? If he has queen jack. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if we should bet that card at all. I anyhow, I I want to see the result. Fuck it. At least I was correct. Pocket eights and sevens would um, most likely check raise the flop directly if it's uh, so wet. So it's three combinations jacks, and then I'm not sure about the other stuff. If he would ever play like king ten suited in backdoor flush draw, is that possible? At least it's one combination, right? Let's check. Yeah, king ten in uh, in green could be possible potentially, right? Open race call against the three bet. Ah, man, a. Eh. <sighs> it always feels nice if you bet and if your opponent calls then sure it was for value because most very most likely he has a worse hands but uh if something like that happens and you see a check jam then uh, yeah it does not look so great anymore maybe we can uh, bet flop at turn and say okay if he jams turn then we fold but how many how many better hands do we have except uh, beside the aces then not blocking the ace of diamond right Saya, just in theory, if you need rebuild bankroll from $500, what bankroll management strategy would you choose for a back to, let's say, No Limit 100? So No Limit 100 is your target and your question is what limit you should play with $500. Uh, if you are a total beginner, then the the money you put in does not is not important for me because i would not say okay uh you need 20 stacks for a limit or so i would just think in what is your skill did you did you beat the limit before and so on right i guess something like 20 buy ins for a limit is very Agro bankroll management and you can do that if you beat the limit before I should not do that but hopefully yeah against ace king if the river uh, if the river is another blue one or so I don't think you know we get anything if the river is an ace or a king and he jams we have to fold maybe so i guess this is fine to jam so i would recommend you to play with 500 dollars uh no limit 25 as highest limit Right, then you have 20 stacks, but only if you were able to beat no limit 10 before. 
if you if you are a beginner then please play no limit 10 or if you did never beat no limit 10 please play no limit 10 first because you will only reach your target if you deserve it and for that you have to beat the limits anyway thank you for the follow thank you I guess those those players are a bit tighter. That's why I open raise this. King eight is a uh, open raise. King six not, but here we get away with it. And now it's interesting. I guess our opponent has uh, some combo draws, maybe a flush draw or so, or two pairs. And if he has king jack, for example, okay. But a lot of two pairs are full houses now, and that's why I do a crazy check behind. Yes, I do. Queen eight? I think I I bet big on the flop against two players and then I bet bigish on the turn. So he should not have queen eight. That's why I did not go for value because I did not expect him to have a you know trips type of hand. And with a with a single king or a jack ten or so, he cannot call the river. That was strange. Distrust of uh, risk management for take will zoom then thirty. Yes, 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 yes. The pocket threes versus Jack's hand on flush board. You got the three of spades. Why didn't you bet the river to fold his hand? Uh, cannot remember. I had set under set. No, not this one. Threes. Ah. Uh, the flush. Was the flush there on? I have no clue. Cannot remember exactly. Uh, but it's a good point. Maybe I should bluff the turn and the river or the river or so If I always check that it's definitely too easy for my opponent to uh, to play the whole hand That's why I often say the performance on the tables what you see in a live stream if the chat is beside if you get tired over time is totally different to to good poker or what you know about the game, right? Thank you for the follow. Paradise Fisher. So he bets flop, he bets turn. We beat ace four. We do not be beat seven six. Bring me in my reason. Meh. Meh. If he folds an underpayer, it would be nice. If he folds 8 7, it would be nice. He calls Queen Jack. Okay, that is allowed. <laughs> Very small three bet, so our hand is a clear call. Oh, it's more than half pot size, so we have just a gut shot, but at least we have a backdoor flush draw as well. So I would fold uh, the queen 10 in green directly 
because we should not overrate um, our our gut shot. And if he takes a bigger sizing against the king, we only have the four outs. And if he does not have the king, maybe he second barrels and we have to fold it anyway, right? So in, in blue, I continue. Ooh. But with all the other... Um, queen 10 suited hands, I won't. Same here. He bets more than half the pot. One call, but then we leave it. We block ace queen. So, what is he betting on the flop, right? Ace king, aces, kings. Would he bet jacks? More than half the pot. A non full stacker. Hopefully, he's not three betting so wide. I do a min bet just to get anything to fold. No. A dude. A dude, please. What is that dude? Man. I wanted to say, if you have the five, we get good good odds to call. We we had a gadget and two overcards, and we got uh, eight to one, right? Mm -hmm. Aha, grüß dich, Bodo, du alte DE-Nuke-Legende. So, so. Da hat jemand einen Camper-Spot entdeckt. Ja, wo sitzt der? Ja, Bodo, Bodo. War mal ganz erschrocken, als ich, als ich so eine Demo oder irgendwas habe ich gesehen von, äh, von irgendwelchen Schweden oder sowas. Auf einmal höre ich da, bo, 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 bo. und ich denke, was, was labert der da jetzt? Gell? Das ist doch mein Name. Und dann ist mir klar geworden, na, vielleicht. Gell? Aber man muss ja auch ganz ehrlich sagen, so gut war ich ja nicht. Ich war vielleicht nett und habe damals schon äh, ein bisschen weniger getiltet. Das blieb wohl positiv in Erinnerung. Das geht ja hier rein wie am laufenden Band. Wahnsinn! Jo, schau, hier schon wieder. Was hat er gehittet am Turn? Die 10 oder was? Oh, da unten habe ich gepennt. I, I fell into sleep on the bottom right. interesting here i let him do the job so i will uh just call hmm. what is that betting big on the flop and now Oh. 7-4. That's why you bet big on the flop, having two pair. I fold directly. It feels like with one player behind, I do not close the action on the flop, and then we will always have hard decisions, for example, now. Yeah, there's nothing we can do with that hand. I think it's very individual thing and stable mindset um probability of me uh yeah 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 bankroll management i mean obviously you can go through it mathematical right and say oh risk of ruin but how often do you really need those 30 40 50 stacks would you would you lose 40 stacks on a limit think you are a winner and still continue no Maybe you are able to win on that limit, but may maybe, but maybe uh, you are not focused enough. Maybe you don't bring your horsepower on the tables, right? Did I say horsepower? I mean, maybe you do not bring your knowledge.
to the table. <laughs> and now he bets small because he has the eight. No, no small bet here. Tak tak, from Poland. Uh, this is interesting. Check, 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 check. Why ha did I check the turn? I have no clue, but against such a small sizing, I will call it off. That is fine. Tima, 43. Tank, tank, tank. Hold. Saya, nine, 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 nine. Uh, if you beat No Limit 10 already, go for No Limit 25. As soon as you l lose a lot of stacks on No Limit 25, uh, just leave it for, you know, a few weeks. Depending on your volume, some players, they play a lot of volume and then it takes just a few days to come back, right? And some players with 20,000 hands a month, it takes a bit longer until uh, they can play that limit again. Such a small bet. Could be tens already, but if he does not have tens and our outs are live, then I have to call. Now I believe he has something like eights maybe. <laughs> look, look at that. Another soul read. Thank you, C. Thank you. On fire with the reads, but we lost the hand. Oh no. Against Mr. Hollywood from Poland. Hey, that is a bigger three bet. I wanted to do a four bet, but this is a bigger three bet from 2.1 to 8. Wait. Take it. Okay, let us have a look to hold the manager. So we are on 1.7 and it went up to 1.9. Good stuff. I got some questions about uh, what kind of win rate is possible. Please do not take that 23 you see, see right there and not even close, right? Something like 8,000 hands is highly influenced by the variance. Luck during that time is very important. Yes, we did some good decisions. Yes, we got some donations. But something like the donations you do not see every time, right? Sure, maybe given COVID the tables became softer. I, I do not really know about that. But... It's not expected to hold over 10 big blinds. That is what I can tell you. I mean, on the other side, I always say aim for three big blinds. And I, I was never a good win rate player. I played mass volume. I won leaderboards, get, uh, got a lot of rake back, promotion, winnings, and so on. I was never a good win rate player and it was never important for me. To be honest, the tables, they look like uh, there is something possible, right? 
they are really soft. Some some regulars are tilting around. Maybe they are overplayed. Maybe they are not 100% focused doing the same stuff every single day. I, I'm not sure why. And fishes are there. That's for sure. Is that ace four or so? Check calling flop, check calling turn, check calling river. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. Oh, he only had the East 5 calling us down. Okay, interesting. That is a wonderful card on the bottom left because now I guess it's very likely he has Ace King type of stuff. Uh, I go for a big bet. Hopefully it's not uh, with the flush. How much can you bet if the flush arrives to to get something out the East King kind of stuff? Paradise Fisher, the students you search, is it only for cash game asking as a MTT lover? <laughs> MTT lover. Um, I'm definitely not up to date in MTTs. If you play something like $10 MTTs, I, I can help for sure. But mainly I'm a cash game player and everything I solved in uh, Pyro Solver, GTO Plus and Monka Solver was mostly, mostly for cash games. So he did not see bad, flop or turn, nor the river. That is a uh, information. We should make a note. Yeah. Look at that. He did not bet the flop, not bet the turn, not bet the river. Okay. Formal 85. Maybe he's a viewer of the stream and wanted to be friendly. Oh, Paradise Fisher. I just see that you are from Brooktown City or what? Hmm. Undi82, I missed your message. Let, let's read that one. Oh, here it becomes interesting. Um, I will bet the river. I guess nine sevens will fold. Something like ten nine will have a hard life and so on. So Undi, uh, bescheiden warst du in CS sicher auch, aber es gab zu ESWC-Zeiten kaum jemand, der sich so derart mit der Theorie 
beschäftigt hat und heute würde man es Meta nennen. Oh, danke schön. Ja, wobei man sagen muss, äh, in CS habe ich eher ein bisschen Anti gegen die Gegner gemacht, ja, wenn man die Zeit dazu hatte, oder eben versucht, fixe Strategien durchzuspielen, was international, zum Beispiel bei der ESWC gegen gute internationale Gegner viel besser funktioniert hat, als gegen Deutsche, die das dann schon kannten. Aber für mich war es schwer, es umzustellen, weil ich ja nie der beste Shooter war. Das heißt, ich so individuell in der Runde dann immer ganz, ganz toll irgendwas machen. Ähm, ja, schwer. Wir hatten mal ein paar Shooter, da haben wir dann auch gesagt, okay, die gehen jetzt vor und so. Äh, da war das Spiel dann manchmal ein bisschen anders ausgelegt. Aber grundsätzlich waren wir ja nicht äh, das Obertop-Niveau, sage ich mal, vom, vom Schießen her, je nachdem, mit wem ich zusammengespielt habe. Ich meine, Don Camillo war Top-Shooter, Flex Carpio zwischenzeitlich. Aber einer wie Rebel oder so war ja nie der, der Monsterschütze, ja. Und ich glaube, da war es schon äh, wichtig, einfach von Anfang bis Ende dann zu sagen, okay, das spielt man durch hat man die ganze Zeit geübt, da ist man dann auch drin. Ja. He's a very tight player. I think he will continue a lot, even against the tw uh, 12, 12 big blinds. Okay. Bad. One call with tens, jacks, nines. No, direct fold. So he probably had it without the backdoor flush draw. Undi, was, was ich auch in CS damals noch äh, ultra wichtig fand, als zum Beispiel die Pop-Flashes aufkamen. Aus einer Position eine Flash werfen, die der CT dann nicht sieht. Man kann gleich rumgehen kann, ja. Heute scheint es normal zu sein, aber früher musste das alles erst noch erforscht werden, ja. Rindeisen, no client in the store. Äh, <lacht> So you, you are just working and watch the stream beside Rind Eisen. On Pokestars, you don't have any rakeback right or leaderboard board promos at all. Yeah, that is that is correct. That's why I'm saying the win rate is something you cannot compare from two poker sites. One has 70% rake back and the other poker site has no rake back, right? So why should we compare a win rate after rake but before rake back? It's, it's totally unfair then. So this is crazy. If he bets the turn big, what is that? I mean, there's nothing I can do, it feels like. But what is that? It's the flush or, oh, he, he can still, would he better set like this? What is that? We only have 62 hands or so, there's nothing I can do, right? Against half pot size bet, we need 25% to call. By the way, for you guys, I have uh, call odds included here on the top. And you see how much percent we need in such a spot. So if you lose it two times before you win it one time, it would be fine. But will we ever have that? We blocked the 10-9 in, in blue or so. I think if he bets that river, I will go for a raise like to lose against two pair or you know maybe maybe if we race big enough we get the nine to fold sometimes no now it goes check check fine 
if he checks, we have some showdown value and then it's not necessary to um, to bluff. That was a very tight fold, by the way. Worker, what do you think about party poker nowadays? Uh, I, I guess most players left and I heard the games are pretty much dead. Like, it's not too much traffic. Uh, I mean, we have to bluff. What is the best sizing here? We have to represent the 10 and the 10 only, right? Which is reasonable, 10, 9 or so. And it has to be big enough to get his, you know, two pair or whatever to fold. If he has something like that. Uh, Saya, Bodo, do you prefer PokerStars more than GG and why? No, I like um, Zoom tables for the stream because everybody is used to that. It goes quickly. I can join and leave whenever I want. For the regular tables, uh, streaming the regular tables is so-so. Anyhow, it's it's not so enjoyable, not so much volume and... I'm not a fan of streaming regular tables anyhow. And if I want to stream uh, the rush and cash tables on GG, then I want to go for the leaderboard because if I'm just out of the leaderboard, I pay a bit more rake, okay, for no price. And that is suboptimal. So I would uh, stream the rush and cash leaderboards if I go for you know the whole day and uh, a leaderboard winning and then it, it will be fine but but playing playing rush and cash and then just be outside the leaderboard a bit that is paying more rake and getting nothing back um Okay, I will go for a check race here. I block the pocket fives. He should not have ease uh, five and so. Oh, a bigger bet from Mr. Mulligan, huh? Why do you have a bigger bet here? I thought he bets one third, like range. Regine, bin in Bruchsal in die Schule gegangen und habe außerhalb gewohnt. Ah, Brusel Beste. <laughs> that is the spot where uh, our hand does not perform so well anymore. We are out of position against his forebet. And di this sizing by him is a bigger one. You might think, oh, 22.7, that's roundabout okay. Yes, that is okay if, uh, you know, the, the three bet is, let's say, eight. But if I make a 3-bet to 6.4, then 22.7 uh, in position, that is large. And our hand is dominated too often. Um, that's why it would be a fold against his 4-bet already. I'm not sure if he would ever fold... Uh, a two pair right here. More bet if he has pocket sixes, we have tons of outs because eight and seven is an out as well. And now let's see what happens. He bets more, we call the ten. Fine.
Aha, den Russen, du kannte man damals noch gar nicht in Counter-Strike. Ähm, doch, aber ich war nicht unbedingt für gutes Movement bekannt. Ähm, Yo, what can we do here? Uh, Queen Jack in any other color folds? Should we bet small to provoke? Question mark. He calls. Let's see what that is. It's just ace nine. Cool stuff. Yeah, we mostly win if he checks the river, but how much would he call, like, if we call the turn, do we have ever a bluff on the river? I guess no, right? I check here. Ace king. Uh, worker, in last he always saying that party poker is best. Oh, I preferred party poker like four years ago. Yes, that's for sure. Now, I think the poker sites are so different that I, I cannot recommend one poker site much more than the other poker sites because player A should play on, you know, poker site... You know, I like Zoom if I want to jump in and out for a few minutes. Sometimes I just play eight minutes because of the kids. I have eight minutes. Oh, should I pick up uh, our daughter from the kindergarten? Oh, no, not yet. They still eat uh, their lunch. And then, oh, okay. So I go in uh, in 20 minutes. That means I have a few minutes to play. So where should I join? If I join regular tables, it, it takes so long until I get to the tables. And that's why Zoom in such a case is, is good. If you play very high volume and you want to play four tables, if you play long hours a day, maybe you want to play on, you know, GG Network and uh, go for leaderboards. The right flush, please. What the heck is that, huh? Give me an eight. Tens, fine. An eight would help in that case. So he does not have a jack, not have a eight. He does not have a seven too often. He could go for a value with the six. Um, again, if he takes uh twenty five percent, uh thirty three percent as a sizing, we need twenty percent to call twenty percent hand equity. Um, I guess king ten. He would bluff the turn already. We block a ten. Yeah, that looks like we are beat too often. What? But what is too often, right? If we lose three times before we win it one time, it will be fine. So hopefully he has king five in hearts. 
<laughs> oh, it was not hearts? Sure, it was. Just the blue hearts. Choo! <laughs> yes. Hearts. Like this. Saya, there's more rake on GG than on stars. Correct. You have preflop rake. But depending what you play, depending what you play, you have rake back, you have promotions, you have leaderboard on rush and cash, you have uh, the cash drop pots. No. The rake on Russian cash is uh, three big blinds as a cap, 5% three big blinds, but, but half of that comes back from the cash drop pots. Oops. Again, we had a similar spot before, so it's possible he has an overpair, he did not bet on the flop and now raises on the turn. It's so dry. Huge bet. From Finland, huh? I mean, my hand is pretty much face up. I have, I have eight open, oh, oh, often. Um, flash draws busted. I think most of the flash draws in blue would bet the flop. So he has flash draws in green. He has a6 stuff, 6-5 is possible. Jacks played this way. Hard value with some, something like kings is possible. What bluff, bluffs do we find? Ace-8 can bet the flop already. Would he check the flop with ace-8 to raise the turn? Not sure. Ace King played this way, like, or Ace Queen played this crazy way. Who knows? Clooney, hey Bodo, gibt es eigentlich noch die Doku von dir auf YouTube? Ich finde sie nicht. Oh, wo, 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 die Doku. Uh, es gab eine Doku. Die wird es bestimmt noch geben, oder? Ich glaube, uh, die Doku war auf das Ding. Irgendwie so eine CDF-Kooperation oder sowas. Nice flopperino. One call and fold on the turn, Mr. Fitzy. One call and fold on the turn. Ah, I see, I see. Normally, if the flush arrives, you go for a smaller bet, but hopefully he has two pair right now and uh, 
you know and continues that that's why and now i go for a smaller bet on the river i don't think he has pocket eights too often it's more like 10 9 10 8 9 8 at least that is what i hope for maybe it's you know queen 10 with the queen in uh spade called it and it's the 10-9 exactly as predicted Whoop! That is a good turn card. So Troy, I would go for a bigger bet uh, with the queen as well for protection. I would go for bigger bets uh, with draws. Uh, let's do this and another full speed bet. He calls nice. How much up today? Let us check that. Hold a miniature. So we have a 1.93, but we have not updated yet. So we refresh. And this is not just for today. We started the day, I think, with 1,280 or so. The first day we had a 1.3k profit second day was about break even and today is the third day yes yes exactly we are on fire mario thunders hey nice to see you destroy the table those were my my words from uh from an interview from a TV interview I said I will destroy the table We just had a follower thank you for that thank you mate nice it gets better and better and better and sure we can we can speak about the hits but maybe it's also a bit more than that i don't want to say i played it good but maybe my opponents played it kind of suboptimal Silver V, your hand reading is so off. It was King Four of Diamonds, not King Four uh, Five of Hearts. <laughs> yes. What is your approach on the cash drop pot? It depends on your opponents. I played it totally different uh, as as they came up. I remember as Rush and Cash came up at the beginning. I. Uh, crushed the leaderboards and it it changed. Delmark, thank you very much for your follow. Thank you. Uh, 
and another follower Kayuts. thank you very much nice oh guys what is going on so many followers at the moment thank you Tang. Is that a Chinese name or did I read that wrong? Fit 10 9 suited shove cut off versus button lol he fold aces king ace king we block nines he are <laughs> uh can we go for value? I guess no. Check check. Hey! Why do you bet the river? Is that pocket eights, mate? Okay, I, I do a trick. I will do a trick. We do, do, do that. so deep it is hot um a lot of players asking if it's better to play deep or not i mean it's totally up to you i feel confident i saw a lot of solves playing deep stack i can a bit imagine who's capable of what mostly they are not you know uh not too wild too randomly aggressive mostly they just have it playing super deep uh yeah it also depends on your bankroll management are you are you ready to to lose uh 200 big blinds in in just one hand can you play focused after that Ooh, interesting i am so lucky every single time now he goes for third because with ace 10 he cannot go bigger than one third one third, mister. I have to play fast, otherwise he can probably spot my hand. And now, and now, ace 10, direct fold, huh? Ace 10, direct fold? Oh, yeah. And now? Whoop. <laughs> Ace 10 is an insta fold now. Hopefully, he has the jack. Uh. But what kind of jack can he have, right? Playing this way. 8 5, we need a 7. It's just a min race. A 7 7 7 7! By the way, guys, speaking about Rakeback, if you, you know, if you play on any poker side and you are unhappy to play there, write me a private message on uh, Discord and maybe we can sort something out. Because, sure, money is Rakeback, but in my opinion, there's much more possible than money. Something like poker help is rake back as well, right? If if we can get uh, a deal together. So if anyone needs some help, inspiration, if you you think I can help you with with your game, write me a private message on Discord. Please do not add me as a friend because I have 100 friend requests and they are listed with the date, not listed with the names. So I will not see which friend requests came in latest?
10, mister. So much is uh, busted. You can call with a 10. The timing looks uh, strong. We block the flush draw in hard. I'm also not sure if he would go check call, check call with the flush draw. The eight does not change too much. I mean, did he hero call uh, pocket eights on the turn to hit it on the river question mark? I mean, uh, whew. 10, eight, okay. That makes sense. That would be a spot where I normally say, I have no clue what he has, how the eight changes something, but anyhow it did and he has it, right? That was is often my uh, read and in that case it would be perfect. Just saying, hey, pff, I have no clue which eight you have, but anyhow you got it. Because a bluff, a bluff, with just the flush draw we block? Nah. I guess that was a bad call from my side. Or was it? I'm not sure. Thank you for the follow. 500. Um, guys, I have Holder Manager too, but I don't know why HUD not working on Zoom tracking hand, but not showing HUD. Do you know fix it? Uh, I guess I have Holder Manager two here. Uh, I check raise the flop on the turn. I go for this. If he has pocket jacks, he has a hard life. Not that the ace did change so much, but still, hard life. <clears throat> Holder manager two discontinued, but I guess I have, yeah, yeah, I see, I have hold the manager two, so it's working for me. But normally I do play without a hard, because on uh, most poker sites a hard is not allowed anymore. So. What you see right now is not my common game. I was quite inactive anyway, but if I play, I would not play uh, No Limit 100 Zoom. So he checks that flop. Let's see what happens on the turn. Does he have a very weak ace? Maybe it's something like kings. Oh no, he did not three bet pre-flop. Ah, I was open raiser. Okay, so he has a, a smaller pocket. I see, I see. 
smaller pocket, so we go for a big bet on the river. Do be heftic. Was on a table beside. I remember the name Hubi. One of the better turn cuts, but if he plays check call on the flop, uh, it's, it's possible he has jacks. <laughs> but obviously that uh, would be just bad luck. So hopefully he check jams king queen now or so. But I guess king queen is just a c bet for him on the flop. Ah, uh, is that exactly jacks? Mr. Radek! Radek, Alta, woher kommst du, man? Czech Republic! Let's go! Sixes, okay. I got lucky. Sorry, Radek. Today I am on fire. Nobody can do anything. Imagine you see a, a river six just before this. Oh. One outer, yay! Tricked by the software. Alrighty guys, a bit self-advertising. As you can see in the chat, there is a link. Discord is a chat tool. You can build a community and so on. We have 1000 users in there. Everybody's playing poker. So uh, feel free to join. That is our invite link. It does not bite you. This is a normally a call, but he looks uh, tighter, so uh, I will overfold. Uh, in Discord, you can write me a private message. I should be the admin in that channel. You see that Bodo Poker, hashtag 7765. Write me a private message about you. Which limit do you play? Where are you from? Are you a full-time daddy or do you play full-time poker, right? Which poker side, happy, yes, no, limit, volume. Just write me a story about you and maybe we can work together. If you need any GTO solves and you don't know how to create them, you want to buy something, just let me know. I have 1000 gigabyte of RAM and I do a lot of stuff in that area. Alrighty guys, I guess for today I will wrap it up. I thank you for watching. Hopefully I see you in Discord. And it's always enjoyable if I have some some players around me meeting up anywhere. Obviously it became uh, harder given COVID, but we also had boot camps, right? In in my <clears throat> in my home I invited four players for a few days. Yes, you sleep in my home. 
you practice some uh, some poker, you have a look in, in the city and stuff. We make that since about 10 years. It became a bit harder to do given the two kids. But it, it's still possible, right? If, if COVID lets it through, we can still do that in the future. And obviously, whenever I'm connected to some students a bit more, then it's, uh, it's easier to handle that stuff. I had uh, four players for, I, I don't know, five weeks in Australia as I lived there. I took 10 players to the WSOP in uh, Las Vegas. We had a lot of meetups in, in Germany. I think more than 200 players visited me already. This is, could be a river uh, bet for value if he has any seven or six. Benjo, tell us where you have been for the last past years. Yeah, we, we got our second baby. And then it's not too easy to, to do streaming, right? I can play for myself sometimes, but I do poker stuff just behind the scenes. So, okay, what is your main game? Ooh, I do not have a real main main game at the moment. I played up to no limit 20,000 blinds, 100, 200. I would never consider myself uh, as a no limit 5,000 regular or so. No, 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 no. Especially not now. I would still play such a game if the table is soft. So if I see that in, uh, you know, in live poker, it's not possible at the moment, but if I go to the King's Casino in Rosvadov or if I see it in Vienna, a lot of um, casinos had to close in Vienna, but if something is running, you know, and the stakes increase or we play with a straddle, then it would be fine for me. And in online, Poker, what is my normal game? I have no clue. I I sometimes played No Limit 1000 still, but then it's, you know, you select some tables, there's no volume, that's not, not what I want to do normally. I guess he rarely has uh, Ace-King, so we go for value one more time. Let's do like this. Same hand. I would consider my main game something like No Limit 200, right? That is what I often play. I jump in here and there. Now we play No Limit 100 because of the stream. I don't want to show too much against my normal opponents, just in case if I have uh, an, just in case I have a note anywhere, not on Zoom on Poker Stars, but um, for example, on on Russian Cash, it could be possible. But even there, it no, it's also not my main game. <laughs> I played some PLO. Because I wanted to learn some PN PLO, I uh, solved a lot in, in PLO as well. Tables seem to be very soft. And uh, in Vienna, often they play more PLO than uh, No Limit Hold'em, especially on the higher stakes. Did you call PokerStars because of the huge winnings? Let us see. Back to four tabling. We put in a holder manager again. And press refresh. 2033 to 2 2 Ooh, that looks great, <laughs> to be honest. Back to the one tabling. Lenny, it's PokerStars welcome gift. Gift. 
Ah, uh, what means welcome gift? It's a welcome back gift. I guess he will do a check race, huh? I feel it. No, nope, not this time. They think you are a noob because you didn't play for a long time. They think I'm a noob because I always have to deposit, my friend. Lenny, huh? You don't know. I always deposit. Aha, kann ich gar nicht glauben, dass es so gut läuft, obwohl Yoda nicht mehr hinter dir ist. Der, der, also der Yoda, der ist schon noch da. Da hinten ist er, ja. Äh, da ist der zweite Yoda und, äh, äh, ja, ja. Da verschimmelt schon das Brot hier, sollte ich auch mal wegräumen. Da ist noch die Kackerwindel von unserem Kleinen. Oh Gott, was hier alles rumliegt. Did I say I want to wrap it up and we still stream? It feels like we, we just re reset it and now we can keep going. Okay. Uh, if I roll it high, I will do a four bet. If I roll it low, I will do a four bet as well. <laughs> Get away there. Oh, oh, oh. That was the wrong one. Again. We want to see the Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Bad aiming. Ho, ho, ho. Marshmallow, nice, just came in. In time for the boot camp shill. Marshmallow was one of the guys visiting the boot camp as an only bit 10 player. And now and now I was would invest into him for no limit 5000. That is how things go. If you don't listen to Bodo hard work pays off. Uh, his timing tells me he has a good hand. So let us roll. High is a 4-bet, low is a 4-bet. Hey, how does that work? I thought I can click on it. No? Then I fold? A lot of damaging for the opponents today. Good luck. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I have to to do a screenshot. I mean, how can you sit down on the tables with 600, 440, 380, 300 big blinds? Unbelievable. And that as a losing player, how good ha- I, I, I ran. Really. I do a smaller 3-bet because he's not uh, full stacked. Insta call. No. Unfortunately not. Oh. Now I have to go for a bigger bet that I can jam the turn. Otherwise I would go for 33% or so. He jams it anyway because he has Queen Jack. Beer and vodka. Stimmt auch wieder nur 80%? Huh? So would you play No Limit 5000 if Kaki is playing? No. One. Uh, if, if you think you have an edge against one player, it depends how big the edge is, right? I will lose against other good No Limit 5000 player, especially on a side where the rake is relatively high. And uh, Kaki is not, I guess he's not, not a fish, right? I did not see too much. I, I saw that he makes some experimental shots, like not playing No Limit 5000, uh, play, playing PLO 5000, where he should not be a winner. 
and he is saying, okay, I invest some money uh, to get better faster. And hey, there's nothing wrong with that. He invests money this way to get uh, better faster. That could be a bluff. Um, it hurts if we lose against the eight. Mm, see. Uh, Oculta, you wrote exclamation mark delay. I have a two minute delay normally given in the program, but anyhow, it turns out as five or six minute delay. I don't know why. It's a bit long, but cannot change it. Ooh. Ooh, what is that? Mr. Chris Mano has a scoop batch. Does it mean he won a scoop event? Well done, sir, if that is true. Alrighty guys, we go back to the four tables. I show uh, Holder Manager last time and then I will really wrap it up for today. Let's refresh. 2,220 and it went up a bit. So this is a spot where if he has some forward bluffs we can call. Overall, I would recommend most players on the, mo on, on the lower limits just let it go because, you know, does he have ace-five suited or King Jack often enough. I doubt. Oh, this is this is aces. I tell you guys, it's aces, and I get four to one to hit my ten, and then I get good payoffs. Whee! Pa -pa -pa -bum! No worries. The ten will come up on the turn. No worries. Ten on the turn. I do a trick. I hack the system. Hey, where's the ten? Ah, oh, oh! I, ha I have to do my action first. Whew, what is that? We get six to one. I, I can't, guys. I can't. It's just two outs. This is always aces. And he has kings. No, he has queens. If he tanks that long, it's just queens. <laughs> Tables are not down. I, I set out. I We're streaming uh, just one table lately and we'll leave pretty soon. That is exactly Queens. Okay, so we sit out next big blind. Hey, what is wrong over there? Guys, thank you for watching today. Don't forget to um, join on Discord. It's for free. You can write me a private message. We can, you know, share information. Uh, I sell some products if you are interested in GTO stuff. Um, and, yo. All is said. That's it for today. Hopefully I see you tomorrow. I still have some time to stream because my kids are not not here. And have a nice evening. Bye bye.